Hello, we are continuing in Joshua in this section that has to do with the inheritance of the various tribes of Israel, the allotment, the territorial boundaries for each of the tribes. And it says here that uh, there remained um, seven tribes whose inheritance had not yet been apportioned. Now, interesting to hear what was said by Joshua to the people of Israel at this time. How long will you put off going in to take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, has given you? Provide three men from each tribe, and I'll send them out, that they may set out and go up and down the land. They shall write a description of it with a view to their inheritances, and then come to me. So at, up to this point, we've, we've heard about the tribe of Judah, in the south, we've heard about the house of Joseph being split into the two tribes of Ephraim and Manasseh in the north. But there were seven more tribes in addition to the tribes that had been described on the other side of the Jordan, which were Gad and Reuben and the other half of the tribe of, of Manasseh. So uh, all of this, together with, of course, the tribe of Levi, which is in a different category, that ha the tribe of Levi has the priesthood, um, what, what remains are these seven tribes. And this committee, this, uh, this special uh, group, is to be set out. And this, in fact, happens that the, the men went and they, they passed up and down in the land and wrote in a book the description of it by towns in seven uh, divisions. So they give the descriptions of the territory in terms of how the boundary lines go. And, and then after that, we, f we have following it um, descriptions of the city. So now the, the first one that we come to, which is part of, of uh, Joshua 18 now, is the inheritance for Benjamin, the lot, lot of the tribe of the people of Benjamin. Remember, Benjamin was the brother of Joseph, the, the youngest of the brothers of the descendants of Jacob. So the territory that descended from uh, Benjamin is given and all the cities, according to the clans of Benjamin, are listed um, boundary by boundary all around the cities there. And it does mention a couple of the uh, areas, a couple of the cities that we know uh, had not been taken yet. So one of them, of course, is very important, is the city of Jerusalem, which was called Jebus. And then uh, we have mention of Gibeah that will be an important, uh, an important uh, city in Benjamin where there'll be a, a tremendous amount of wickedness. And we, we hear more about that in, in the period of the judges in the book that follows Joshua. So it, it, it talks about 14 cities with their villages and says this is the inheritance of the people of Benjamin according to its clan. So, so all of this is about the land that is yet remaining in order to be taken. Uh, and Joshua expresses in this chapter 18 a concern that the people are, are not undertaking to do the work that God has commanded them to do. When he, when he says, how long will you put off going in to take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, has given you, that, that tells you something. Um, so how do we apply this to our own situation? See, we have been given a great commission by the Lord Jesus Christ, who said, um, that we are to make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, doing, uh, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever that I've commanded you. So this is a commission that's been given to the church and it's ours to fulfill it. So on one hand, we can certainly say to ourselves, we haven't done that. On the other hand, we, we can also think about the territory of heaven um, that yet remains for us. And we're told in Colossians 3, set your hearts on things that are above where Christ is seated at the right hand of the Father and have we actually given enough consideration to the territory or shouldn't we go into that land 
you know, in in the scriptures and evaluate and think this is the the inheritance that we have. And, and then the other thing I think that we can think about is uh, is that here in this lifetime we have what's called the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. See, and it's ours to take that land, too, by the grace of Almighty God. And we should attend to that with all our heart. Let's pray. Father, we, we pray that you would aid us in the New Testament mission that we have. Father, that we would uh, do what you've told us to do, to, to go to all the tribes of the earth, to to keep our hearts set upon our heavenly home and, and to grow in the spiritual graces that you have for us. Help us to do this, O oh Lord, and, and be glorified among your people, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, friends.